Google Ads Auction Insights. In this video, I'm going to walk you through all you need to know about that Auction Insights report. We're going to cover what exactly is the data that is being shown to you in the Auction Insights report, but importantly, what, how you can use that data to your advantage to get a competitive edge. So let's go do this right now. Okay, welcome to the Teach Traffic YouTube channel. My name's Alana. Don't forget, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up icon and subscribe. So here I am inside my live Google ad account. And as you can see, I've already navigated straight to the Auction Insights report here. It is worth mentioning that you can actually get this report at the campaign level, at the ad group level, or even the keyword level. And you do so by just scrolling down here and you'll see Auction Insights here, or if we even uh, expand the menu here here you'll see it's at uh, the keyword level so for the purpose of this video we're just going to look at it at the campaign level so here is all the information it gives me and obviously these are the competitors and I am here in the middle all right so it tells me that adroll.com and geniusmonkey.com and these two other ones are my competitors so the first two metric it tells me is the impression share and it tells me the impression share of my competitors so this is really helpful to see how you know if it a particular competitor is really grabbing a lot of that real estate uh, versus me and how I'm really performing, as I said, compared to my competitors. So I'm only getting 11% uh, impression share uh, versus AdRoll, which is getting 17%, and, and these other ones are kind of getting similar, and LinkedIn's getting less than 10%, okay? So um, that sort of tells you, you know, you might have in your account, you know, one particular competitor that's grabbing all the impression share and maybe they're massively bidding. This next metric is called the overlap rate. Now, if you're not sure about any of these metrics, if you hover over this, it will actually give you a definition. So the overlap rate is how often another advertiser's ad received an impression in the same auction that your ad also received an impression. So how often this other competitor was in the ad stack when you were there as well. All right. So 20, almost 25% of the time ad roll is there when I'm there. 28% of the time this geniusmonkey.com is there. So it, yeah, how, how often do our ads overlap at the same time? This next is position above rate, is how often another advertiser in the same auction shows a higher position than your own. So when really were they above me? So the, I was being outbid uh, by all my competitors you know, most of the time. Uh, the top of page rate is how often your ad or the ad of another advertiser, depending on which, which row you are viewing, was shown at the top of the page in the search results. Now, it's worth mentioning the top of the page isn't necessarily the number one ad spot. That is just you're in the ad stack that is above the organic listing. So that has usually four ad spots, depending on what niche you're in, or niche for American listeners. And so I can see that, you know, I was there 81% of the time and these people were there at these other high percentages. This absolute top of the page rate, which is the, that is actually the number one ad position. So I can see that I was only there, not even 17% of the time versus ad roll which is really uh, getting um, number one ad position the most and outranking share is how often your ad ranked higher in the auction than another advertiser's ad so really that's kind of um, it, or, uh, or if your ad showed when the others did not so how often did did my ad you know rank higher than the other so these these numbers are really low I'm not surprised by these metrics because I was actually bidding really low for this particular campaign and therefore I'm not surprised I'm being outbid a lot. The CPCs were wildly expensive and I was just seeing what I could kind of get away with essentially. But really I want to talk about how you can use this information to really get some insights and competitive edge. And what I do here is I grab one of these URLs. So I grabbed this genius monkey. I actually wanted to see what they were because I haven't heard of them. Maybe that's a bit naive of me. And what you can do is you can get this URL and you can firstly put it in the Google Keyword Planner tool. So if I just refresh this. 
And then I can put that competitor URL in this keyword planner tool to try and get an idea of based on the content on that site, what keywords Google would feel would be relevant. So to do that, we just go here, start with a website, put that in here and get results. And, and obviously it's going to give me this information. Now it is worth mentioning, this does not tell me the keywords it is bidding on. It just tells me what Google thinks would be relevant to uh, the particular website. I can find out some of that information of the keywords they're bidding on by using a paid tool. One tool is called SpyFu. So if I go across to SpyFu, I put in the URL here and I've got, and I can go to this PPC keywords section and really get an idea of, uh, I'll sort by their most successful keywords or I can look at new keywords, but I can get an idea of what keywords uh, they are actually bidding on. These are their paid keywords as opposed to their, their organic keywords or anything like that. Now, Bear in mind, don't take this data as gospel. I've, you know, I've cross-referenced this data with actual client data to see what comes up and it's not in, not 100% accurate. It does get some things right. Uh, so just kind of know that to take this information a little bit with a grain of salt. It is still helpful, but what I find most helpful is actually looking at the ad copy because I want to see what headlines and descriptions they use. But really what I also like to see is what landing page they're using. So I clicked on that link and landed here. And this really tells me, you know, where they're sending the traffic to. And often these are hidden pages on a website. And so you can get a lot of information this way. So as you can see, this is a landing page because it's got LP here, which is pretty funny. You can often tell a lot from the URL. And what I look for here, uh, I can also put this URL actually in the Google Google Keyword Planner tool to see what Google thinks would be relevant keywords. But I want to see what opt-in, what offers they've got, um, so that these are all the fields they're asking for. I like to see their headline. Yeah, I want to see what their landing page is. So yeah, this is all really interesting information to have. And obviously you could go through that for all your competitors that are listed in the Auction Insights tool. Going back to the Auction Insights report, it is worth showing you as well that you can actually segment this data, which means sort of break it down even further. You can segment it by time, so uh, by week, month, quarter, year, or day of the week. This would only really be relevant if you're in an industry where you might be advertising like on Monday to Friday or weekends or not. You know, I personally don't use this segment of the time uh, relevant for the type of work that will clients that I have. The one I do like is by device. So I like to segment to see for a competitor, you know, try and get a sense of are they really doing a desktop strategy or are they really going hard on mobile and also see how I compare to my competitors on, you know, desktop versus mobile as well. Uh, so I can see that actually mobile phone, I was getting more of an impression share and I wasn't there at the top of the page, but I had an improved top of um, page rate. So it wasn't there at the absolute top, I meant to say. So, you know, uh, WordStream, I can see that they really in the number one ad spot for desktop more than they are for mobile. Um, and maybe they're just doing a bit of a bit adjustment. Anyway, I find that particularly helpful. So there you have it. That's the Auction Insights tool. If you like this video, don't forget, hit that thumbs up icon, subscribe to my channel, and let me know if you've got a question in the comments. Let's get a discussion going. Thanks so much for watching.